The wedge lifts the beam up to a horizontal position. You've got mu as 0.25 for both of the surfaces, and I want to know how hard I have to push at this P right here to make that wedge go farther underneath the beam. Start by drawing the free body diagram of your wedge. Why do I start there? Because that's where I know what's actually going on. P is pushing to the left, uh, to the right. That means my friction forces are opposing P. If this wedge moves, and we're told that it needs to move, we know that this wedge is going to move to the right. So the friction forces are going to be acting to the left. My normal forces are acting perpendicular to my two surfaces, and I've got a 20 degree angle for my wedge. That's the free body diagram of my wedge by itself. So if I take the sum of the forces in the x direction, I've got NC sine 20 plus FC cosine 20 plus FB equals P. And for the sum of the forces in the y direction, I have NC cosine 20 minus FC sine 20 equals NB. Motion absolutely has to be impending because we're asked to find how much it takes how much P it takes to actually move the wedge. So motion must impedge for that wedge to move, which means we can assume that FC equals mu S times NC and FB equals mu S times NB. Both of my mu's are the same, so if I plug those into my equations of equilibrium, I get NC sine 20 plus 0.25 NC cosine 20 plus 0.25 NB equals P and NC cosine 20 minus 0.25 NC sine 20 equals NB. Plug some numbers in here, plug it into a calculator. Let's look at what I've got. NC, I can combine the two NC terms. I can't do anything with this NB term. Over here I can simplify to 0.85419 NC equals NB. If I plug this into that one, I have 0.92543 NB equals P. That does not solve what I want to know. I need an actual number for P. And clearly we haven't finished this because I have not looked at what my beam looks like. I haven't needed to at this time until this point. At A I have a pin, so I'm going to have AY and AX. And I have this 300, Newton, uh, 300 pound load, which acts at 2 feet away from A and 6 feet away from B. And at B, important, important, important. I have equal and opposite forces from where I had B over here. So these two th places have to be equal and opposite. NB goes down on the wedge, goes up on the beam. FB goes to the left on the wedge, goes to the right on the beam. That's my free body diagram. Now I only need one more equation. So while you can certainly write the sum of the forces in X and the sum of the forces in Y, all I really need for this problem is the sum of the moments at point A. Nobody asked me to find AX and AY. All I'm looking for is P. If I look at the sum of the moments at A, I have 300 times 2 clockwise and NB times 8 counterclockwise. Now I can solve for NB. NB is 75 pounds. And I can plug that back into my equations for the wedge and solve, and I get P is 69.4 pounds to move the wedge.